Well, I've got old in the bar and chain. That's a new Oregon bar and chain. I did not touch the drags on that. They was already uh, in good shape. It'd been a steel chain that'd been different. I've got uh, twenty dollars in that one, twenty dollars in that one. This one, the uh, recoil spring was gone, wasn't there. So I took one over and over saw, and uh, I had to put a new cord on it. I used uh, power cord. That's what I usually use when I haven't got anything else. This one, I had to sift through my box of parts, get a clutch cover, and the uh, starter. Uh, both of these were from a number 65 bid. Chainsaws, 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 and more chainsaws. It was a marketplace find. I bought three saws from a guy. It was 250s. And isn't this 44? And uh, the other 50, the carburetor diaphragms and metering diaphragm and everything is just like potato chips. Anyhow, I got some carb kits on order. Should be here maybe today. Mailman hadn't run yet, I don't think. Anyhow, um, this 44, this is a running rascal right here. I was cutting that hard, dry white oak again. That's all I got to cut. That's all I got left. White oak and locust. And locust is even harder. So, if it looked like it was struggling cutting that wood, that's the reason why. But, uh, I had this out in the in the shed and never had tried to start it. Didn't know what was wrong with it. Didn't know much about it. And the other night I was watching a Tenman bed and somebody sent him one. He was all excited that he finally had a 44. And uh, 10 o'clock at night I got the flashlight and went up to the shed and dug it out. And uh, got another, had to go back and get another uh, starter side cover so I could get the spring out of it. And of course that exploded on me when I went to take it out to put it in this one. And Debbie, she done got real good helping me putting them back in. Anyhow, I don't know, 30, 40 minutes after I got it out of the shed, I had it running. Carberry was way out of adjustment, of course. This one was even worse. This one wouldn't even keep running. And it, the uh, low jet was cut almost all the way off. But you can see it runs fine. Um, but anyhow, Timman said he'd been looking for one of them saws. And he finally got one, so I went and got this one. And it didn't feel like it had much compression at first. But, look at that. It was dry. Anyhow, it's in pretty good shape. Be a good little lemon saw. I just might pour it. I need to learn a little bit more about them. And I, don't, I haven't got any more bars for Huskies. I just ordered this one and got it. Uh, I ordered my chains and bars from uh, Farley Brothers Saw Shop. Or is it Farley Shop? Saw Shop. I'm not sure. Anyhow, I'm going to order a couple more and some, some more chains, I guess. But, uh, if you want to check the other video, I'll put a link in the description. Um, anyhow, two more saws in the heat running. So it's Saturday here. It's muggy. It's not hot, not that hot, but it's muggy. And uh, anyhow, everybody take care and thanks for watching the video.